welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. And today, I am wearing the Mighty Captain Marvel shirt. And I haven't even got to see the movie yet. But hey, life happens. And it's not all freaking roses and dandelions and movies. But anyway, <laughs> check out what we're doing. Lemons and celery. Lemons and celery juice with some splashes of cayenne. So I'm going to get into this juice and then we're going to have a serious juice talk. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? Look at that. That is gorgeous. I cannot wait to drink this. Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about why you should never go out without food in your car because when you do something major could happen like it happened to me yesterday and guys okay so i went to my son's track meet and i was like super stoked about it like it was the best track meet ever we enjoyed it we had fun we were watching the track meet he did really good like and everything and then after it was over of course my son was expecting me to take him out to eat because he was starving out of his mind and you know it's kind of like bonding thing they always want to go out to eat right so where did they go want to go eat out at the most grotiest place in the world no offense but that's what teenagers always want to do they want to go eat out at some place that is just not that healthy. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, I'm not going to say any names. But they were like, this little Italian joint down the road. And I'm like, okay, I could go for some Italian. We go in and the menu is like all these options of I'm like, okay, so we're starving. I'm starving, like literally. So I'm like, well, might as well order something really good. So I end up getting like cheese fries with bacon because we're all so freaking hungry. We can't see straight. We can't even order them on the menu. We're so freaking hungry where we've been sitting out at the track meet and he was running and everything. So, um, long story short, hold on a second. Long story short, we're sitting there and of course I got the wrong thing as usual, but anyway, but so I'll order this like cheese and steak hoagie and it was supposed to have lots of vegetables on it. Well, it did. It didn't have hardly any steak on it and the steak that it had on it was like really just not good quality steak at all. I mean like it seriously, it tasted good and everything but it just, I don't know. And um, the bread, uh, and I mean, it was great for teenagers. Like they were in hog heaven, but for me, I'm sitting there looking at my plate in horror, thinking, okay, the bread is made out of non-GMO wheat, and it's had bromine added to it, and. I'm just like sitting here thinking how toxic this food is. And you know, I'm like, okay, this, the meat was like, not, you know, it had hormones, antibiotics probably. And you know, and then I'm just sitting here thinking, okay. And then of course the vegetables that were on it were not organic. So they've got all this toxic, Spray, excuse me, spray on it. 
And so, and I'm just, I can't even, like, I'm trying to enjoy my food, but it's kind of hard knowing what I know. And then I'm like, the cheese. Oh my gosh, the cheese fries were loaded with cheese, but it was mozzarella cheese and the cheese, oh my gosh, I know, was not good cheese. <laughs> so it was good, it was delicious, but I really just couldn't eat it. Like, I ate it, but I was sitting there thinking, okay, this has got all the hydrogenated oils in it. It's just, you know, so toxic and this is how I used to eat all the time before I went vegan but the thing about it is I was of course looking around at the people that were my age eating in there and they it seriously looked like they were nine months pregnant I'm just gonna be honest like this one man that was eating there like oh my gosh it was sad I was like he looked normal and everything he looked healthy but his abdomen was so like inflammated like it looked uncomfortable and i'm sitting there thinking man i wonder how many times he eats here a week like he looked like a regular and, you know, like, I don't know what he had to eat, but, you know, I was, like, thinking to myself, and then these other people walked in, and they sat down to eat, and they looked like they, they were regulars, like, they probably came there at least once a week, or more, who knows? But they were like, oh, they were all into it. It's like, you know, they knew what they were going to get. <laughs> and, I mean, the thing about it is, is I was like, looking at their bodies, it was very clearly obvious that those foods had taken a toll on them. And I used to be like that. I used to be so inflammated from the foods of eating out like that food is so dangerous guys and i was just like i'm so thankful i don't eat out like that anymore and i'm not in pain like those people seriously looked in pain like you know and i'm sitting there thinking okay that guy, you know, and these people, I'm like, do they know what's causing them to be that inflammated? And I was like, they don't. They don't know, or they wouldn't be doing that to themselves. And I just really got to pondering upon the fact, you know, it's just like such an epidemic. Like, the food industry around here where I live. Like, clearly people eat out all the time. It's like, that's what they want to do. You know, they want to go out to eat. Like, that's the thing. And the restaurants around here, most of them, there's like maybe one or two that, but they may have some clean meats and stuff. Uh, but there's like one and guys and the hydrogenated oils I just watched this video about 10 foods that cause cancer and the oil the hydrogenated oil is huge and then this subscriber just uh or someone one of the people that were watching my videos they were like yeah it's the oil and the sugar that's killing everybody and i was like he's right it really is and that like spurred this thinking process and then i saw the video and i was just like the hydrogenated oil is so deadly i mean 
it's crazy it's totally crazy guys and it's not a wonder so many people like turn to the vegan diet and like ran with that for so long after being in so much pain and torture because everybody knows you know when you go vegan you it's there's a lot of emphasis on the oils you know like don't eat those oils don't eat any oil like it really trains you when you go vegan to not eat those those oils those hydrogenated oils I mean those are bad those are so bad what they do to your system so that being said you know it got me to thinking like there's this Bible verse it says and it's it goes uh, people are dying from a lack of knowledge these people don't know this stuff they don't know about the hydrogenated oils and they're totally being brainwashed into eating all of these foods and it's just so sad it's sad and you try to tell them and they won't listen but there's not really anything you can do about it but I don't know it just seems ridiculous where I live like there's so many people and um I don't know it's just, I just had to make a video on it, like, why you should never go out unprepared. Like, if I had had a snack in my car, I would have been like, okay, kids, you know, if this is where you want to eat, I would have been able to think clearly. Like, at least went to a different restaurant or something. Like, I was so freaking low sugar and hungry, like, that I couldn't even think. Like, seriously, it was crazy. And, uh, you know, that happens. That happens. And that's why you gotta have snacks in the car and be prepared. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video and I'm sure it'll resonate with someone somewhere. You know, take those snacks in your car. Like, have a snack bag. And if you're, cause if, you know, like today I went out and I didn't have a snack bag. I did, but I gave it to my son, but I wasn't hungry. I wasn't hungry at all, truly. And, uh, but now I'm getting a little hungry because I worked out at the gym. Look guys, I'm really starting to get Okay guys, so that concludes that video, this video. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up of why you should always take food in your car. Like, always be prepared. Always have a snack. Always have an emergency bag on hand. Uh, because, you know, those type of foods are very dangerous. Bottom line guys, they are dangerous. It's like life and death. There's no doubt about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like it and share any of your experiences that you've had lately, you know, about learning about the toxic foods or what kind of foods um, have you just recently learned about lately that are dangerous and, um, you know, causing an epidemic in our society, guys, you know, this we, these are serious times. These are serious times. In the United States of America, I don't know what it's like where you live, but where I live, it is a chronic, serious problem. People eating these chronic, dangerous foods that are clearly causing them health problems. And uh, guys, you know, it's a lot to be mindful of. And uh, that's why I wanted to start my own YouTube channel because it is dangerous and it is serious. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've never subscribed to my channel, I need subscribers. Like, no joke about it, guys. I need subscribers. Like, yeah. And I'm going to be uploading more videos. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.